Hi right, YouTube. I've been working in my storage unit this weekend. We had a big storage unit garage sale, got rid of a lot of stuff. Still have a, quite a bit of stuff I've got to get rid of and sell online. I've got Kanadi Mongrel tires, five of them in great shape, 30 inch um, to sell and a few other things. So if anybody's interested, reach out to me. Uh, what I'm doing this weekend also is a project that I put off for, I'll bet you, 10 months now. I bought a Super AV TV windshield. I believe this is from Super ATV about, uh, gosh, 10 months ago, and I've never put it on. I also bought back then this seismic UTV windshield wiper motor. This thing actually works pretty darn good. You know, it's always scary. You, you do want to buy the scratch-resistant windshield or else this will scratch all the heck up, they say. This wasn't hard to install. I'm not quite done yet. I thought I'd take a video, though. I'm doing all kinds of things to this thing that needed to be done. But all I did was decide where my wiper would fall on this windshield. Put a little dot, and uh, I used the step drill bit to drill this sucker out. Here's the uh, bit I started with, very small, and work my way down to a point. And then what you've got to do with this thick glass is I had to switch over to a little bit bigger one once I got to a point. I didn't want to take a chance in cracking it. And then you've got to drill a second hole. Once you mount the first one, you can use the plate to mark your second hole once you get the first one lined up with the plate. Uh, because that's a bolt and a nut that goes through that and then you drill that second hole out but the trick too is drill from both sides get done and then drill from the other side because this is these step bits this is thick glass and they don't go through all the way and so you got to drill from the back as well at, near the end as you see that the bolt will go through so that wasn't real hard and it actually works pretty darn good I'm real happy with it <clears throat> When I turn the motor off though, unfortunately it stops. So I'm gonna crank it up and let you see it. Okay. Now what I'm also doing, instead of putting my washing nozzles out here, where I've gotta disconnect and do things, I actually put them on the windshield, where when I take them off, all I've gotta do is unplug the wire. I'm getting ready to run all this wire up underneath there. And as you can see, let's turn this thing off. It is a two-speed. It does go back up out of the way. It does have a washer motor on it. Let's show you. Let's turn this thing off so I can show you what I did. I uh, mounted the motor behind the passenger seat and the reservoir so I can still get to it easily and mount Excuse the mess in here. This thing is filthy, and I have no way of washing it here at storage. Uh, also working on my radios, the wiring, and uh, running the longer cables back. I bought some longer cables about nine months ago, too. Running them back and finish them off here at the back where you saw in way previous episodes I mounted my connectors for the headsets. And so I needed longer ones when I remounted everything above so that no water and what have you could get to it. But there's been some issues. I changed out the radio. I had two of these 25 watt radios. Changed it out. Uh, changed out cables so they wouldn't short. And uh, I'll be finishing up with that. I'll be running this uh, tube underneath the dash and over there drilling a the small hole where it comes out to where I can unplug it and take off my dash. I was worried about putting it out here where debris can get to it and stuff. And uh, it tends to get hit on the glass itself or the plastic itself. Yeah, I think those will stay just fine. And I've got connectors that came with the kit. You can just easily disconnect when you take the windshield off. It's a race car too. So uh, that's it for now. And I'll catch up with you when I get more done.